When I think of the memories of transitioning from the chapel to the first family life center, I just get a warm feeling about my church family. Some key phrases from that time period that I remember. Black liberation theology, information that the pastor began to incorporate to teach us about our history and uh, people began to come. One particular Sunday, the men were asked if they would give up their seats so that the ladies could sit down. It came to be affectionately known as the On the Wall Committee. During the same time, Pastor redesigned Sunday School. It was totally different. Special studies classes, current events classes, and the pastor asked a bunch of us to teach and he invited us to come to Workers Conference. There was nothing short of 25 to 30, maybe 40, every Tuesday night, coming to Workers Conference to hear the presentation of the Sunday School lesson, and it drew people. God's Word drew people to St. Stephen Baptist Church. We had Sunday School classes in the stairwell, in the parking lot, the Marcus Garvey building, in the lobby. Phil Gazaway used to teach a class that was right out on 15th Street where the church marquee is, out there in the grass. And because everyone bring one meant to bring somebody to Sunday School. He never said you had to stay, but folk decided to stay. And after a while, after they came for so long, they eventually joined. And this legend lives on. Sunday School and the power of Sunday School has not died or, or went away. We continue to everyone bring one to hear the word of God and to be uh, liberated from whatever holds you captive.